Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we will discuss about the cubital fossa, what it is and what it contains. The cubital fossa is basically a triangular hollow situated in the front of your elbow. So you know the elbow or the elbow joint is where the humerus ends and the radius and ulna begin. So just over here in, in front of this joint is a triangular space that is called the cubital fossa. So let's study about the cubital fossa. The first thing we need to know about the cubital fossa are its boundaries. So let's draw a little clearly that this is the lower end of the humerus. This is the, let's say that this is the medial epicondyle and this is the lateral epicondyle. And from the lateral side of the humerus was a muscle that was arising called the brachioradialis muscle. And from the medial side was arising the pronator teres muscle. So, this is the area which is called the cubital fossa. So, what are the boundaries of this fossa? Simple. Medially, it is made by the lateral border of the pronator teres, while laterally, it is made by the medial border of the brachioradialis. The base of the cubital fossa is made by an imaginary line that is running between the two epicondyles. So this is the base. It is an imaginary line running from lateral to medial epicondyle or medial to lateral epicondyle. And finally, the apex is the part where the pronator teres and brachioradialis cross. The boundaries aren't over yet. There are two more important boundaries that probably people miss. So roof and floor are very important boundaries as well. The roof is formed by what? Obviously the skin is covering this area. Then the superficial fascia. Now the superficial fascia consists of the median cubital vein. Median cubital vein basically combines the cephalic and the basilic vein. And here is where the nurses or the doctors basically inject over here or in this vein. The skin, superficial fascia and then deep fascia and finally the bicipital eponeurosis which is very important basically the biceps muscle that is coming from above uh, forms an eponeurosis or you can say a kind of like a tissue that is lying just deep to the deep fascia of the arm so bicipital eponeurosis that's the roof the floor is made up of two muscles and these are the brachialis and the supinator muscles now let's talk about the contents of the cubital fossa. So all of you are doing the degree MBBS. Now let's convert it for the sake of the fossa. Let's do MBBR, break a little rules. And these are the contents starting from medial side because this is the M. These are the contents of the cubital fossa from medial to lateral. The M stands for, this is a nerve of the anterior compartment, the median nerve. B for the brachial artery, B for the tendon of biceps, and finally R for the radial nerve. These are the contents of the cubital fossa. However, let's talk about these contents in depth, which is more important. You need to tell what are the events occurring at the cubital fossa. First thing, the median nerve in the cubital fossa. In the cubital fossa, the median nerve is giving branches to the FPF muscles basically FPF muscles, the, the flexor carpi radialis, the palmaris longus, and the flexor digitorum superficialis muscles in the cubital fossa. Next is the brachial artery. What special is occurring in the brachial artery? It's basically terminating into its two terminal branches. So the brachial artery is in the cubital fossa is becoming the radial and ulnar artery. And the radial artery is giving a radial recurrent branch in the cubital fossa to take part in the anastomosis of elbow joint and then there's the biceps tendon and the radial nerve what special event is occurring related to the radial nerve it's basically dividing it to its deep and superficial branch the deep branch is called the posterior interosseous nerve and the superficial branch these were the important events occurring in the cubital fossa and that's all you need to know about the cubital fossa